There is a middle school because we have three categories of, you know, stages of education in the state. We have built uh, 26 of middle school too. Those ones too has the capacity to take 1,100 pupils, you know, each of them across the state. And we have 11 high school, which has the each of which has capacity to take 3,000 pupils at a time. Therefore, the total number of, you know, the, 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 the uh, classrooms we have built in the space of seven and a half years that we, we have been, uh, is about 98,000 classrooms uh, in real terms. And it is not just the new ones that we, we are working on. We are renovating massively across the state, different primary schools, secondary schools, and all that. Uh, if you get to the state of Washington today, uh, it is not where it was before our regression came that we are going to meet it, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, as far as, that is as far as school is concerned. For us, road infrastructure is so important. And you know what he did with road infrastructure in Lagos as Commissioner for Works. Basically, uh, the governor believes it is the road infrastructure that will drive other developments. And so he went for it. He started by making 10 kilometer roads in each of the 30 local governments. That was even in 2012, 2013. So all the local governments, a total of three, over 300 kilometers of roads were done. Then he went for connecting roads and we have about 150 kilometers of search in different major towns across the state. Uh, in addition to that, we, in, in partnership with the World Bank, we have what we call ORAM, Rural Access Mobility Project. Uh, in order to connect the rural areas with the main major towns, there are these peculiar type of routes that okay. we used to have in the old days. All right, I'll, when, I'll let you settle on, on that uh, because we really have to go on a short break now. Okay. Uh, so you talk about uh, more of that when we return. Thank you. Join us again. Welcome back. Let's talk about politics in Oshun State because there are concerns that the ruling party now is not even allowing for an opposition to even have a breather. Is that, that, is that, the, is that the case? No, that, that would be an unfair statement to, 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 to be made by anybody. And I dare say that if there is any state where freedom for all applies, it is in the state of Oshun. Including the opposition? Including the opposition. They operate freely. They do whatever they like because, number one, my governor does not believe in muscling the opposition because of his background. Do not forget, I told you, he's an extreme le leftist believer of democracy, you know, and he wants democracy to be well engendered to the extent. So you're implying that the opposition no, is a, 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 a far cry, is a far cry, ranting of an ant, if there is anybody saying that. Because I tell you, uh, they, they operate freely, they roam freely. Not even for, you know, a governor that came in through the kind of, you know, situation he did. Because we had a terrible time coming into government. The, 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 the sitting government then, you know, was so brutal with us. But then, I tell you, the day the court pronounced Eric Bashala as the winner of the election, Mm. He, he immediately instructed that we should start doing 15 minutes public service announcement on all electronic media in the state. That so, oh, are you, so are you think that the opposition media has access to state infrastructure like the state-owned media? I was, in the, I was at the Crown FM, owned by Otuba Yolo Mishui, to grant interview sometimes ago, about two, three months ago. Okay, that is to the extent. If I have the confidence to go to any minister, any minister uh, so-called enemies uh, medium. Can the opposition come to the they state? Do, they do, they do. As I yesterday, no, day before yesterday, a friend of mine who is in PDP was on our television discussing politics. So, so now, uh, how do you view you going into the, uh, the governorship elections now, which is coming up uh, pretty soon, and um, getting the support, especially for health union workers, uh, education uh, uh, sector workers, because teachers still claim that they don't get their salaries, and that is the not health, true. That the is health not sector, true. The, the health sector in yeah. particular, 
It's one of the most comatose, we understand. That is not country. true. Hospitals are running in the state of Ocean today. But that doesn't Hospitals mean that are they are, running. They are huh? up and about because well, we, the, basically, report, the report is that Ocean State health sector is one of the worst to at least even have babies. That is a claim. And everybody is entitled to his or her opinion. The reality is what I want to, to challenge channels to send their, their men to go and find out. We run free education. We run, even we just inaugurated our NIA, NHIS, you know, uh, the insurance scheme for health. We just inaugurated it. So I wonder where, you know, let me tell you something that I know and I've seen over the years. You can never do anything right in the eyes of the opposition. Let's go back to the money. Let's go back to the money, yeah. the money part now. Um, you were saying something earlier about salaries being paid and those that were not paid. What, how, many, how many months did you say Oshin is still owing? We are owing me, just me. I forgot that. May I hasn't ended my, yet. Eh? May hasn't ended It yet. hasn't ended. We have paid April. Ah, but you said earlier. I, ha I, hand, I hand my, my alert. Mm -hmm. I got my alert very late. Okay. So that, w that made me not to remember that, you know, it has so been... So you were so excited you forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we must thank you so much and uh, congratulate Oshun State for at least uh, paying the salaries even though it's modulated. But uh, we're at that point we, whereby... With the, the caveat that we're, the we are going to pay thinking, whatever difference when the, we have the, the money. The government's at the point whereby they're thinking of even increasing the wages of workers. So I wonder how your state, Oshun State, will have to deal with that if you're in support of... For instance, uh, liberalizing the salary structures for different states. But well, that will be a discussion for another day. We must, however, thank you so much indeed for talking to us on the show. The Commissioner of Information, uh, Delani Badirinwa, for talking to us on Sunrise Daily. Thank you very much. My that's how coming. the show has been today. We must thank you as well for being part of it. I'm Jimba Omar. Bye for now. I'm Neil Taibi. Bye bye. And I'm Maupe Ogun Yusuf. Thank you. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not necessarily reflect the views, opinions and endorsement of Channels Television.